Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of Crypto Bellwether. Man, this is pretty exciting. I've, I'm, I'm just creating a lot of trades right now. You know, the world's kind of uh, gone crazy. There's a lot of turmoil. Not a lot of good trades on right now. There are immense amount of long-term holds, but I'm trying to create stuff. And I want you guys to learn along the way. And I want you to understand my conviction and how I think. So look, if you've clicked on this, just give me three or four minutes, whatever this video takes. And if nothing else, you'll learn a lot. Now, if you're going to take on this trade, remember, this is not financial advice because this is pretty damn aggressive, but it's a heck of a lot of fun. And I'm kind of excited. I like how this is lining up and uh, just follow along or do your homework and jump in because I pretty much feel pretty damn confident that this is going to pan out. But it is very aggressive, and there's really long term no reason to be this aggressive. And you'll see how to do the same trade without being so aggressive in a minute. Now, right now it's up 37.24%. If you look at this chart, it's been on a tear. Now, think about what we have going on in the world right now. We've got the stuff with Russia, and you know, it, it's chaos. Yes, Bitcoin has seemed to have found a bottom, but there is so much uncertainty. Nothing, in my opinion, is going to be able to maintain a 37% rally in this crazy times. Uh, I've, I've searched the news for a real reason why it's bouncing right now and, and should it maintain it. I haven't found found anything. Now, that being said, look at that chart. Now, here's the advanced part. We need to short this thing. That's what I'm thinking. Now, if we short this, like I'm just going to keep watching it probably for the next hour or so. It's getting a little late. I'm hoping it gets up in here. I really do. But here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to break it in to three parts. I'm going to go ahead, let's just assume, let's just say $10,000. If someone was going to put $10,000 in, go ahead and watch it. Let's try to get up in here, you know, maybe 129, 128. Right now it's trading at, um, it's trading at 128. So this high right here, I believe is like 136. So if we can get up in here, that'd be great. But I'm going to watch it. And I'm going to go ahead and short it, let's say, in here. And about a third of the money. Now, if we're lucky, it's going to go against us and get up in here and take out that high. That would be great. I'll short another third. If by chance, if this was going to be textbook perfect, it would get up in here. And I would short my final third. And then I'm pretty damn sure i'm gonna wake up in the morning and it's already came back it may be down in here i don't know but look it's up 37 percent right now i'm just trying to capture say 10 15 20 percent would be awesome so in my opinion there's no doubt that it's going to give back 10 percent it's just going to happen guys now that's the aggressive part. You don't have to do that. Like I said, I like to trade. This isn't a whole lot of money that I'm doing this with. But now let's, let's just say I'm right and it comes back to here. I hope it comes back to here. But now here's the deal. When you look at the historical chart, this is perfect, man. This is a perfect, perfect trade long term so i'm trying to be aggressive and greedy whatever you want to call it i'm trying to catch the short and the long but look at this guys look where this thing's been in less than a year it's been seven dollars and sixty cents and it's trading at a dollar 28 right now and we're thinking it's going to fall all the way back down I mean, there's a good chance it gets back down to 89 cents. So he here's the thought, guys. I'm going to short it right now. I'm going to break it into thirds. I'm going to short it again if I'm wrong. I'm going to short it again if I'm wrong. 
if it goes ahead and starts to fall, I'm just going to let it go. And I have only deployed 33% of my money. But now, that being said, if I'm correct, and actually, even if I'm not correct, it's a buy, guys. This thing, look at your risk reward. Now, I'm not talking about the risk of crypto in general. I'm just talking about if things work out. You're buying something right now at 128 there's a strong chance that we can buy that thing back down at like say 90 cents it gets back down in here and in my opinion when bitcoin turns around and makes its charge back up to 68,000 taking out that old high much less run into 100 well this high is going to get taken out too so Look at your risk reward. You're talking about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six X, six X. And realistically, guys, how far down do you think it's going to go? Now, let's say that it's let's assume that it's going to stick around. How far down do you think it's going to go? It has already went from over seven dollars, almost eight dollars, all the way down under a dollar guys it doesn't get any better than that if you think this is a good long-term project and it's going to stick around this is a no-brainer now like i said i'm being aggressive i'm going to go ahead and short it and if it if i'm correct i'm just going to take those profits and turn around and buy and hold it and just leave it alone and and wait till bitcoin turns around and starts making new highs and then we'll decide if I'm going to get out of it, if I'm going to hold it. I don't know. This came out of nowhere, came really fast. But I want you guys to learn how I think and how the smart money thinks and how technical analysis can help you. Look, the world is falling apart right now. There's a lot of people terrified. So why would any crypto, any crypto, I don't care what it is. Why would it be up 37% and be able to maintain it? Doesn't work that way, guys. It doesn't work that way. And if anything else, follow along. See if Uncle Ray's right. Hey, I might not be right. There's a good chance this thing keeps going up. I doubt it. And like I said, I'm only looking maybe 20% tops. But realistically, if I can nab 10% and it on, on this short, I'm just going to take it. You know, 10, 15 percent would be great. 20. Awesome. But I won't even test it for more than that. But then I'll turn around, set on the sideline because long term, I think this is a heck of a buy. It's a great buy. If you just it's where I'm about to short it. If you just say, well, Ray, I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. And then you could do the opposite. You could literally buy it right here, even though it's up 37 percent. I, I, I can't personally do that. You could buy, say, a third. And if it fell against you, you buy another third. And if it went back down to where I think it's going to end up after I short it, you could uh, go ahead and buy right there again. That's a great trade. And if I wasn't being so aggressive, I would watch this for in the morning. And when instead of shorting it, I would just go ahead and wait till it pulls back, say, 15, 20 percent. And I would buy and buy and buy. So. Anyway, guys, follow along. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the like button. It helps us a lot. Leave comments. Tell me what you think. If you're a swing trader or a day trader, tell me what you got going on because I want to take a look at it. I'm trying to create some trades. Look, this is pocket change money. This is not how you should be investing, in my opinion. Uh, if this isn't for you, just buy Bitcoin all the way down, all the way down. Not financial advice. Anyway, guys, I didn't mean to get long in the tooth. Hopefully, you'll learn something. But check back on Uncle Ray and see if I know what I'm talking about. Because I hope uh, that this works out and I hope you've learned something. Anyway, take care, guys.